How do you avoid the political and argumentative side of the internet and real life? Navigating the political minefield these days is kind of like trying to do a puzzle while someone's tossing extra pieces at you. I find the best approach is to cultivate neutral ground. Start a convo about something universally enjoyed like a new restaurant or a book that's all the buzz. In that way, we build bridges instead of walls. Remember, the heart of meaningful connection is often found in the shared small joys of life, not just the big debates. Honestly, i found that embracing absurdism is the way to go. We can accept that the world is full of chaos and nonsense politics included, and still carve out small oases of joy. Share a laugh over the latest meme, relish the simple pleasures of a good book, or marvel at the pure chaos of a cat trying to chase its tail. Sometimes, letting the world be ridiculous is the best refuge from its intensity. I just stick to watching cat videos and avoiding family gatherings. Works like a charm. Shoot gravy at everyone who talks about politics. I just don't engage when I'm around it. Plus me and my friends are idiots, so conversations don't run the risk of getting political. Just get naked, always were. Just don't? You don't need to argue. On the internet, just ignore people. In real life, potentially rude, but just ignore people. Follow a site about birds pets. Visual art photography in other words wholesome interests. I don't visit news sites, don't watch the news, and I avoid discussions with people that are obviously looking to pick a fight. Instead of being defensive and automatically your side is wrong, be curious. Understand why they believe or feel the way they do about a certain issue. I think one of the big problems with political arguments is that we each automatically dig in the trenches and go to war with it. Instead I treat it as a diplomatic meeting between generals in a tent and over tea. You probably aren't going to change their minds, you probably aren't going to agree, but you can still learn what the other side is like. I curate my online world. I follow interests, not arguments. I follow people and channels that share my hobbies and interests. I also use content filters to see less of certain content. Most importantly, I take breaks. If I'm stressed by something online, I take a step back and come back to it later, or just disengage completely. In real life, I just navigate the conversation. I change the subject if a conversation starts to get heated, I politely excuse myself or suggest a lighter topic. Or I just agree to disagree, I don't have to agree with everyone and that's okay. It's fine to say something like, that's an interesting perspective and move on. On the internet, just ignore it. You have the power in your hand, and all you need to avoid it is just swipe a finger and you're done. I've been much happier by being ignorant. In real life is a bit tricky, you can't swipe, but you can ignore. I don't, I'm typically argumentative, done a YTBH, probably cause my opinion were typically discarded by my mom growing up, so now I kinda just wanna prove SMTH. Put their texts on ignore, especially since it's an election year. Can you imagine how intolerable both sides will become November? Trumpers beating their chest, talking SHT because he beat some old goof who can't even remember where the bathroom is? Both sides should be absolutely ashamed that these are our candidates. We have a friend in our group who will randomly bring up politics like just to be sure. We're all Democrats, right? We just act like we didn't hear him. Acceptance and tolerance turned into, if you don't celebrate everything I do you're literally a Nazi. No clue. These people go looking for you. The argument, not the topic, is the point. On the internet, ignore people in real life, maybe move to places like Singapore. No one BS about Israel and Palestine issue on street. So back in the mid noughties I was deeply interested in the new atheism movement. Richard Dawkins, Chris Hitchens, Dan Dennett R.I.P. et al. I read all the books, was active on the RDF forum etc. I learned all the arguments the religious made and made efforts to make rational and respectful arguments. Then I realized something. I'm never ever going to change someone's mind over the internet. There's literally no point in arguing about this and by extension, politics, the latest genre film, wokeness, which console is better and so on. So now I don't. I could but actively chose not to engage. It makes me much happier. Click that log off button. In real life, there's not really anyone who is entirely opposed to my politics, so we can always find a common ground when talking to pastime. I don't think you can. Change the subject. I only acknowledge politics on Reddit. Everyone and everything and everywhere else on the net, and in real life I just shake my head and laugh, and if I can I dismiss myself, and walk away laughing loudly at the person or I dismiss them from my house property or car. I have made more than one person walk off my property or get out my car and walk because they talked politics and or religion. Politics and religion divides and hateful designed for people with hate in their hearts, and those people cannot be saved and will have an independent thought. 
so I just don't tolerate them, except when I'm having fun trolling Redditors. On the internet, I only use Facebook for specific groups related to hobbies and don't scroll my friends' feed. On Reddit I only sub to only things of interest to me. In the real world, most people are polar, so when they try to argue one side of an issue just mention you can see their side and then point out false issues on both sides. This way you dismiss both sides equally and also signal you errant entrenched or vested in either side. This doesn't have to mean you errant, but people trying to argue with you over a polarized issue or any issue at all errant trying to let you convince them anyway. Just dismiss the whole thing and move on with your life. They'll find someone else to argue with and annoy.